travel and tourism students today, we're looking at customer service. So the first thing we need to think about is who are our customers, okay? So to give us an idea, I've come down to the station and if I look around here, here's St David Station, and we need to consider um, what different types of customer we might be dealing with. Now that could be young people, old people, people with children, people from abroad, people with special needs, for example, somebody with um, a visual impairment, um, people who speak different languages, or maybe just people who are confused and don't really know what they want. So a good example of this could be a, um, a customer that's come down to the station and they want to buy a ticket um, to go to London and they're coming back in a week's time and they don't know what the best ticket is. So they might come in here to the station and how could somebody help them with that? Well the sort of help they're looking for is for somebody to recommend to them um, what is the best ticket, what's the cheapest ticket they can have and then to sell them that ticket. So that's the sort of thing we're talking about. Other examples could be, imagine if you're coming down to the station in a wheelchair, what's one of the first things you're going to need? You're going to need some nice level services so you can go straight in the door. So if we look over at the door again, you'll see the door of the station is completely level and flat so a wheelchair could go in there straight away. Okay, so your task for today is to choose some different customer types to think about what their needs are and how you can help them with those needs, okay? And in choosing your customers, I want you to choose some customers from different kinds of areas. So I want you to choose an external customer, that's just people around, people coming in off of the street to come to your organisation, whether you're working in a hotel, a holiday park or an airline. But I also want you to choose an internal customer. An internal customer is somebody else who works in the industry, somebody else working in travel and tourism. So that could, for example, be if you're working in a travel agent and you've got to phone up um, Virgin Airlines to book a flight, that's an internal customer. Somebody else who is actually in the industry. And the last customer I want you to choose is a customer with a special need. Now that could be a disabled person, it could be somebody who needs to use a wheelchair, or it could be somebody that doesn't speak English as a first language. Or it could be maybe a parent with a very small child who's going to need some special help looking after their baby and that sort of stuff. So choose your customers, decide what their needs are and how you can help them with those needs.